Hey, welcome back guys. So still here, I want to add a courses uh, thing from the database. So what I'll do is let's go back to our database and put our list of categories in the DB so that we can just save an ID instead of saving this. So back to our table, I'll click on the Udemy database. I'm going to create a new table and call this one categories like that, categories. And uh, let me leave the default number there. We'll add as needed. Let's put an ID. We need that. Make sure it's auto increment and a primary key. Int is fine. Then the category itself. And then we're going to add a disabled. Uh, disabled. So that when we disable it, we don't access it anymore. So instead of int, int is a bit too big for this kind of thing. So let's use tiny int and put one length there because tiny int can go up to three characters. So let's just make sure it's one. And uh, this is fine. So category is variable character. Let's look at our categories here and see the longest. How long is this? So this is probably the longest. Uh, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So maybe 20, let's put 30, just to be sure. Let's put category name 30, length. And that's it. So let's save that. Boom. Okay, we may need, I don't know if we we'll ever need to search by category itself, but disabled, of course. But we can always just add an index here. It's a small table, it won't have a lot of rows. So indexes won't be a problem. So let's just add it there. But I wanted to have some data from here. All right. So maybe I don't know yet will will be uh, what, what do you say? It will be uh, an empty one. I don't know. Maybe that's part of it. So what I wanted to do was create SQL uh, queries here, but because I remember that you may not have this information or maybe you do, I don't know. Yeah, uh, we'll just copy from here. So one at a time, let's go to insert here. So I'm going to go to insert. Now, before I do that, I should also save this table. Uh, we will do that in a minute. So insert and let me put the name there. Got to, oh, by the way, let's go back to structure. So. I forgot we need a default value for disabled. So let me check there and let's just put a default value of zero. So disabled is false if it's zero. So it's not disabled. So insert, let's go here and let me put development. Let's put another of these items, uh, business. Let's come back here, business, and let's click go. So that's how we add items to our table. So there we go. Good. Let's go back to insert. We'll add two at a time. Let's add finance and accounting, IT and software. So paste there. And IT and software. So if you don't have this information, just type it in. No problem. And hit go. Have I clicked? No. All right, back to browse. Okay, great. Again, insert. Now I could have written a script to do the, all this at once, but uh, just for the reason of following along, this is okay. I do not mind doing this. Let's paste there and go. Okay, back to browse. Let's insert again. Uh, let's go to design and then marketing. Okay. Uh, yes, copy that. Marketing and go. Now, if I'm tired of typing this, I could just say this and do this and say insert. If you have a lot of rows into uh, categories and then you say um, category and then values 
and you do that control let's go to the end actually let me just press end so i can remove this and do that semicolon so this is these are queries uh, so i've created a query here so all i need to do oops what have i done is select all of this copy and I'm, I'm go to the sql version here select all control v and paste it's telling me there's an error here what be the error let's see uh, near ending quote was expected okay so here because don't has a a quote in there that's messing up things so when you have that problem just put a slash like this in this case i would have put a slash there to escape the following character there so that it's considered normal text but when i save this won't be there because it will know that's an escaped value so if i click go this will insert all the remaining rows just like that so if i browse now i have everything in there and you see the slash is not there in the i don't know because it was removed okay so now we have all the categories we need and what we need now is to a way to retrieve the categories add and edit because we'll need to add and edit these guys so in the proper um what am i about to say the proper OOP way to do things is to create a model for every table that we create. So I'm going to delete these guys. I do not need them. I just need one of these to use later. So I'll put uh, value here. It's going to be uh, empty. This one selected. We also need value here, which is empty. This is a proper empty value. All right. So I need to read from the database here in order to post these guys here so what I'll do is go to models and there's a user model here so all we need to do is copy everything from the user model right click new file paste and then we can go ahead and change things so every reference to user should change to category so here we have categories good and let me save this one as category.php. Now, this, this is where a problem may arise. So, uh, for example, um, the only reason we didn't have uh, that problem, or well, let me explain the problem first. The problem is that if I type this as category like this, dot uh, php this is going to be a model for categories right but single category there the problem is that i will need a i may need a uh, category uh, control controller here and if i do need that then the program will get confused as to which class i'm talking about because there will be two classes named category so this is where namespaces may come in. So where you create a namespace for models and another namespace for controllers. So that even though when you even though you have two classes with the same name, if they're in a different uh, namespace, then they can exist together. If you want to know more about namespaces, I have a whole uh, playlist of OOP in my playlists. But we won't need that here because everything in the admin section has one controller which is admin controller. So we won't have to worry about uh, getting a class named category here, fortunately. So in that case, if you don't want to use namespaces, what you can do instead is say category underscore model like this, so that you know that this is a model class. But if you do that, then even the name here should be category slash model underscore model, just so uh, it can be found when searching in the models folder but we won't need to do that here so no problem i was just trying to explain that i'll select every reference to user and put category okay good and then here all we need to do is select the allowed columns and the only three columns so there's the id there's the category and the id doesn't really change so there's also disabled it's only two 
So I'll delete the rest like so. So there's category and disabled. Uh, validate, we just need to validate the category. We don't want any, if empty, uh, we can say category is required. Let me just change all references here to category for first name. So A category, oops, what have I done? Uh, category is required. And here we will do the preg match where we just look for letters here. Now, if you want to add special characters, as you can see in here, there's the and exists there, and then there's a quote as well. So we can just put a space. We know we need spaces as well. So let's put that space. Then let's put the and and the quote in there. But these characters can mean uh, weird things, uh, special things in here. So let's just put a slash like so to escape them so that they're regarded as ordinary characters. So same thing here. Letters uh, and the spaces like that. All righty then. Okay, so category can only have letters and spaces or and or something. You can list uh, whatever characters you put here if you want. And then let's uh, remove the rest of this because the rest really is irrelevant. So it's just category that we can validate. So let's remove the rest of the content here up to leave this if statement there and save. So when it comes to editing, we don't need a separate validate function. Let's just delete this one. Let's delete the whole function. Yes. Okay, so this is all we needed. The table name, the allowed columns, and a validate function. And just like that, we have our own category uh, class model. So let's close that. Close the user model as well. So here, if I want to read uh, categories, I just need to read all of them. Now in the query, uh, where is this? Let's go to the query function in the, um, the model function, sorry, in the core. So you see here, we have all these functions. We have the update function, we have the where function, and we have the first function. Let's find one with find or where we can just read everything from the table if we want to. So what I would do is I'm going to duplicate one of these functions like the where function here, control shift D to duplicate. And instead of where, I'm going to choose one of these and just put find or uh, find, you can capitalize this one, find all like this, and you don't need to provide any data because we're just getting all what we need. You can put the order here is equal to, in this case it's descending, then you can set a ascending order if you want. So we don't need any of this here, we just need a query. Yeah, so it's going to be select all from whatever the table is, we're just selecting all. And then we say order by uh, ID descending. Now, later on in the tutorial, I'll show you how to, in case your primary key is not ID, it's named something else, we'll, we'll see how we can change that so that uh, the, the primary key is captured automatically and then instead of us hard coding this ID column, because who knows, some uh, people don't like using ID as the primary key. So the rest of this does not matter. Uh, at this point, we'll remove all that. All we need is to run the query. We have no data at this point here, so I'm just going to remove this. And then, yeah, that's all we need. So find all has become a function. So in this case, what I'll do is I'm going to go to the admin section. This is the courses part. And if we are on the add section, so action is equal to add. Let me copy this 
and right here after this I will say maybe before this right there I'll say if action is equal to add then let's do something different here in the data section uh, with data let's add something else so say data uh, categories categories is equal to here and then here I will say category that's the class I will create I haven't created it yet and I'll say find all like that okay and of course I need to specify what this is and this is category is equal to new category with a capital uh, letter there since it's the class okay that should solve our problem so with this we are reading from the categories table and setting it to categories as an array so what I'll do is if I go to courses now and right about here I will ask the question with PHP tags and say if not empty categories categories like that okay if there are some categories in there let's put uh, let's duplicate that again and let me use a for each here so for each loop and let me get categories here as I'll just put cat just as a shortcut there okay so let me push this inward like so and then some PHP tags let me put end for each like that close that and I'll duplicate that one more time and put end if because there are two there alrighty then so for each goes in a little bit like so so for each now here we don't have to hard code this we'll echo out cat and then uh, category because that's the column name now this category will need to be escaped because it can have special characters so let's escape with our escape function okay so with that in mind let's see what we've got so if I refresh the page now I have my categories right here which is nice but the order is in descending order so it starts with I don't know yet but let's swap it um, we can swap that by going to find all and instead of instead here putting ascending order so that when we go to the model let's go to the model actually we should have put the order there so order is descending instead of hard coding it there we'll put order right there okay so that it swaps them refresh and there we go we have that from the database and the important thing is the value in the courses here the value here should be the ID so I'm going to grab this and put it right there make sure to echo it though like that and then instead of category it will be ID so this is just to display to the user the category name but we're actually just capturing its ID because that's all we need we just need the category ID there all right so I'll refresh like this and things still looking good so now we need to make sure that when we click new course and type something and click save it actually saves and takes us back to the list of categories or courses here sorry and then when we click edit then we can go to this form here where we start doing the actual business of uploading information about our course all right so let's continue that in the next video